Oh, I was going to save them for this winter, but it's April, middle of April. And I had to get up this morning and cut the heat on, so I'm wearing these as house shoes. I haven't even taken the tags off yet. They slip on my heels just a little bit, but they are so comfortable. They look huge, don't they? Super comfortable. And my feet are already warm. Guess I'll, guess I'll keep them, take the tags off. These are bare paws. Uh, I got them at TJ Maxx for 22 bucks, which is the primary reason I got them. Because I guess I'm looking for house shoes and something to wear to the gym, perhaps, and just tromp around in the wintertime. There's the information. Sheep. And I like the features. That can come off. Really would have liked for them to have been a little bit taller like my old ones. But look at this lining. And they're so thick in there. And then the bottom, it's really, really plush. And pretty sturdy. Size eight, so they're a little big. But I like to get my boots big because that way I can wear socks. And they're not tight on my feet. Very comfortable. If they are a little big. Hello, bear paws. Guess we're going to officially keep them. Again, I purchased these at TJ Maxx for $22. They were supposed to be $50 regularly priced. They're made from sheep. They are origin of the first from China. They do have a wool lining. The Bear Paw story is this Tim Romeo. A Romeo founded the Bear Paw brand in 2001 with the intention of redefining casual footwear by utilizing sheepskin, nature's own technical fabric, to create comfortable and stylish shoes. Sheepskin naturally regulates body temperature so feet stay cooler and drier in the heat and warmer in the cold. Built to deliver quality and style, every pair of Bear Paw shoes focuses on comfort and fit using the highest standards of craftsmanship. I'll staple the receipt to my tag that came off of the boots in case I have to take them back, which I don't think I will. Thanks again for watching my video. Feel free to like, subscribe, and share the video. Until next time, bye-bye.